good guys? Caleb Wilkinson here. So whenever I woke up this morning, it was like hella freezing in my house and I don't know why. It was set on, well it was 63 degrees, but it was just freezing for some odd reason. And on top of that, I didn't have any coffee to start this morning, which was a little upsetting. Um, I don't get another bag in the mail for another four days. So I'm debating if I should even go to another roastery and buy one. Who knows, maybe I can give myself a little caffeine break, which would be nice, but I need coffee. This month, there's a lot going on. I have a job interview today for a steakhouse in Atlanta. It's a little bit further drive, but hopefully I can be making some more money with that. Uh, excited about that. And I'm also moving in two weeks closer to Atlanta in Smyrna in a little little house so I'm hyped about that I'm gonna be sharing it with two other roommates um, and I'm gonna try to record like the entire moving process and I finished Stranger Things last night and holy cow that that season was phenomenal the CGI the new characters I love some of the new actors they brought on um, and yeah that was just such a great show up there with Game of Thrones and I had like eight auditions last week, which was crazy because usually this is like the slow period. The summers, usually like from June to July and then in December, it's usually like so dead because of like holidays and traveling and stuff like that. But I had eight, which is probably a record for the most I've had in a week. Hopefully I hear back from one of them. They were some big shows and movies um, and I would love to book one. But, you know how that goes. Changed up my diet a little bit from the carnivore diet. I'm eating more carbs, but healthy carbs, like more fruit, and I'm throwing in some rice. Uh, cutting out some more fats, just because I don't wanna damage my liver that much with how much fat I'm intaking. What else? Hmm. I'm going to my first play that I've been to since COVID began. Um, it's called Credo Canvas and it's at my acting studio that I, I go to. And it's like a small, like 30 seat theater. So I'm pretty excited. It'll be fun. I know some people in the play. I'm going to go support them. So I'm going to style something for it tonight. Uh, yeah, let's start with the pants. So we have some light wash pants from Express. Uh, these are probably my favorite pants right now. They're just so comfortable and just a great style, honestly. I'm probably going to pair it with this shirt right here from Lululemon. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I rock with it. Now let's get to the shoes. We got some Nike Reacts that I'm gonna pair with them. I do have some shoes in the mail. Let me see if they're actually here. Guess we'll find out. Yeah, the shoes won't get here in time, so we'll just go with the Nike Reacts for now. Got some stance socks right here. I'm gonna pair with them. And this is it. Got the shoes on. You know. I've just accepted the fact that I'm going to hit traffic anytime I get on the interstate in Atlanta, especially on the weekends, like right now. It's crazy. It's like the only downside of living in Atlanta, but I mean, there's a lot of upsides. So. And will there be parking in the front? Let's go. There is. Mm. Crossing track. Let's go. Front row parking. All right, here we are. We're at Dancing Goats Coffee Bar in Atlanta and Ponce City Market. They have several locations around Atlanta. Uh, this is probably my favorite spot. They have like a nice little outdoor bar and it's shaded and everything. It's a pretty dope spot. But here we go. It's one sip, everybody knows the rules. Not bad, not bad. Just a touch bit sour, 
not pulling any specific notes, which I'm is kind of why the score might be a little low. I have had better espresso. Um, I did do uh, espresso at Starbucks, definitely better than that. Um, if I had to give it a score, hmm. Man, I have had better espresso here, which is kind of irritating. This one isn't that good, it's just, but consistency is key. Consistency is key. Um, I might have to give it a 7-4. Might be a little harsh. I have had really great coffee here. and Man, I feel kind of bad, but nah, we're going with a 7-4 official number. It's literally about 4 o'clock right now. I don't have a alarm clock or anything, but... We have night shoots this week, and I'm trying to adjust my sleep schedule so I don't crash. But the night shoots are like from, till probably like 6 a.m. and I'm not used to staying up this late, so I'm bored, I have nothing to do. I've watched like two movies already, and <laughs> who even knows what to do? It's just so late, people are already getting up at this time. So I went in and asked the guy for like a favorite type of coffee and he just, I think he misunderstood me. He gave me their house blend, but hopefully it's fire and I got like a little, little mini peanut butter cookie. I'll give it a quick taste test in the car. It's like my little sign worked to win. All right, first taste test. We got a mini peanut butter cookie. I already took a bite out of it, but it was gas. You can definitely taste the peanut butter and hella sugary too. And soft and doughy. Wow. Man, that's a good cookie. Give that a thumbs up. Next we have their house blend. Double cup as always. This one's a little sour. Getting hints of like nuts in it. Cashew maybe. Wow. That's a great cup of coffee. It's tough to tell what notes I'm getting because of the cookie, but that is a thumbs up. Holy cow, not sour or bitter like a lot of cups of coffee are and you're definitely pulling some taste out of it too. Wow. I'm fired up. Let's go. Definitely coming back to this spot even though parking was awful. So I went to like this dope little uh, mom and pop bookstore uh, after class and so it had like one section, it was like all new books, all modern. Um, and then there's like the secret door is like, that led back into a dark room. And it had like a bunch of old books, like classics, some art books and stuff like that. And I, I had to buy some. So I got like a John Sloan New York etchings. Um, it's like little etchings he drew of, uh, I guess from like the early 20th century. But trying to expand my art skills, uh, some like knowledge of painters and stuff like that. Because, I mean, I went to that play last week, uh, which was my second play after the pandemic. And it just really opened like my eyes to like appreciate art more. And I think that's something you learn as you get older. And I'm glad I'm kind of getting a sense of that in my 20s because I'm trying to learn guitar and just read a bunch of classic literature and just art and just acting in general. I mean, I feel like everybody should at least experience that before it's too late because it's very enjoyable and you get to learn more about yourself through the process of it. So I was doing laundry last night and I left a pin in a laundry full of white clothes 
and it got all over them and I've literally tried everything to get rid of it but nothing is working so I'm soaking it I already can like soak it in uh, Dawn detergent and hot water I've literally tried like hand sanitizer just so much different stuff hairspray it's crazy but it looks like it's starting to bleed out it's a little bit kind of ink colors I don't know, it's just soaking 24 hours, so hopefully I can get it out. We'll see, we'll see.